So anybody, what is the administrative distance of a protocol? Twenty and two hundred. In in general, what is the administrative distance? So BGP has two, right? So for IBGP yeah. is different. For EBGP, it's uh, different. EBGP is very lower, right? If I'm not mistaken, two hundred uh, twenty. Yeah. Yeah, why? Because I would like to prefer the routes learned by EBGP. That's why it is lower. So it's lower than all IBGPs, uh, sorry, IGPs, right? So what, uh, and you guys know this, that uh, as a network engineer, you can change the administrative distance. You can override the administrative distance if you want to, while you are configuring a protocol. X, uh, your question, what X axis represents? It represents the permission. I will advertise or not advertise. So permission I wrote over here. So I'm, uh, I'm asking, uh, I'm answering a question I, I just saw now. So the X axis is representing position, permission, right? What are the two possibilities on X axis? I may advertise or I may not advertise. What I will advertise or not advertise based on would be based on panels. Um, how would it scale with permission on that? Mm -hmm. I thought it was uh, for the time it is not been crossing that uh, reuse limit, so it will give permission until, to advertise. Uh, until, uh, until unless I am below two thousand, I will be green. Yeah. Okay. So until unless I'm below, I mean, I'm not the green, but I will be sort of greenish, right? But as soon as I go above 2000, then I will be red. So then I will be no advertise. So on the X axis, it's just a, uh, just a way of visualizing on X axis, I will be sort of green and good to go if I do not go over this press limit. So what is the difference between uh, being under green or over green? So, so these are two things in there, right? Uh, if I can use some other color. Uh, so you have two areas. So one area I have is this one. Then you have uh, another area, which is this one. Then you have another area, which is this one, right? All these three areas are different. For example, when I'm in reuse limit, in my reuse limit, what I have, I don't have uh, that um, decaying row. Okay. I don't need. I do not need to decay. I mean, when I come back, because I'm not going anywhere. I'm under the green. So there's no decaying character available. But in this second area, there is decaying, but I can still advertise. But when I go in the top, I have to decay. And I cannot advertise, no advertise, right? So either I'm purple or I'm light blue, still I can advertise. But as soon as I go over, then I would not be allowed to advertise. And if I'm in green, I have, I have no problem of decaying because I'm not going over any limit. But when I go over uh, in that uh, light blue color I draw, then if I go above, then I would decay. Right? So I would not come back soon to my previous value. So for example, if I go to 1250 here, I will not come back to 750 right away. I will come slowly, it, so I will be watched. So uh, the x-axis is not a numerical axis. It is just giving you two states uh, to visualize it. Will I advertise or not? Right. So I will advertise if I'm in uh, sort of that purple, 
or light blue and i would not advertise when i would be in red and what would define i'm in purple or light blue or red would be the value of reuse limit right in purple uh the reuse limit is like 750 or less than 750 and in light blue it is anywhere from 750 to 2000 and if you go above that is red that is above 2000 uh, so the suppress limit is nothing but the at most reuse limit no suppress Can limit is where suppress limit is uh, where you will not be uh, advertise yeah, you're not advertise. yeah so you yeah. could say uh, where you know reuse limit is that you can uh, sort of you know use reuse limit is that if you're working under or over that limit uh, you can reuse that advertisement character but as soon as you go over that red you will not okay. that's where the phenomenon behind the name reuse do we have any default limit for these yeah yeah so 750 2000s are default oh. Oh, okay, I thought it was an example. <laughs> yeah, no, no, 750 and default. So I wrote them here. So when I'm writing here, so these are default. All these values which I'm writing in the records, they are default. Okay. And uh, this is also default. And you can change it as network engineer. And if I want to configure, I mean, it is hard to understand. It's easy to do. And its consequences are serious. Right, so that's what the problem with BGP. I mean, not the problem like the character of BGP is. It's uh, hard to understand, very easy to do, and very hard on uh, facing the consequences if you do anything wrong. Why? Because if I do anything wrong, uh, that would result in flapping of the roof. If that results in flapping of the roof, whatever I want to advertise to the rest of the internet that would become unreliable as soon as it becomes unreliable i'm stopped and if my purpose is to let others hear me and they stop hearing me i kill my purpose okay yeah okay so i'm Thank moving you. on i'm moving on to the uh, second last item on my list is the BGP backdoor. So BGP backdoor, as I said, uh, BGP has two uh, administrative businesses as compared to other protocols because it has two versions, right? For eBGP, it has 20. For IBGP, it has 200, right? So uh, now if you look at some other uh, sort of uh, protocols, for example, RIP 120 or EIGRP uh, 90. What is OSPF 110? Yes. Okay, OSPF 110. Before I go to BGB backdoor, do you see any philosophy in having IBGP at 200 and all other IGPs ranging from 90 to 120. So this is more and this is less. This is one note and the other note is ABGP is at 20 and all the IGPs as I wrote are from 90 to 120. So that would tell us internally here here we we want IGP preferred uh, because most of our job in the underlay is being done by IGP based on that. So we want to have the character of IBGP clear that it is an overlay uh, 
So we want this and because we have that overlay and underlay. And when it comes to the external, we would like to prefer EBGP, EBGP over IGPs with the insider distance. But that's what I was asking earlier when I was taken away by that question. I was saying, uh, can we change an insider distance? Yes. Yeah, so with the with the, the, the command of the change of a uh, and shared distance, we as a network engineer can change the distance. What I do is if I change, let's say, um, okay, well, let me first tell you what BGB backdoor is. BGB backdoor is backdoor facilitates temporarily uh, I would say not temporarily is not a good word exclusively facilitates exclusively preference of IGP over EBGP for certain prefixes, prefix or prefixes could be one or more. So that's what backdoor does. So backdoor says exclusively, I would prefer a root. Let's say I have a root, uh, which is uh, learned by IGP as well as EBGP. So same root, same prefix is learned by two sources. Is learned by an IGP outside uh, or, uh, and it's learned by EBGP. So as per the insider distance goes, IGP would never stand up because it is lower than 20. They are 90, 120 as I wrote. But I, as network engineer, wants to prefer to prefer that I should prefer IGP root for some reason over EBGP. I want to prefer IBGP, IGP rather, sorry, this one, over EBGP, though it has higher objective distance as compared to EBGP. I have two ways to do it. One way to do is, so let me write what I want to do first. So I want to prefer, no, I already didn't that. So one way to do it, I would change the administrative distance. So, I mean, I can just change, I can use a command. I would say, for example, I would say distance. I guess that's the command if I'm not right. Uh, BGP, oops. Um, and then I would say whatever the distance I want. So I can override it. So I would say uh, from two, 200 to 250, let's say, right? So I would move it from 200 to 250. So when, when I do it for 200, 250, obviously all those IGPs, whatever I'm using, uh, they were from 90 to 120. So whatever I'm using would be lower than 250. Obviously I would get preference and my problem is solved. But this solution of problem will bring in uh, some other problems. Anybody could guess what those problems would be? That's where this word exclusive comes into play. Because it would change the administrative distance of EBGP to 
for all prefixes. Or all my external whatever I'm dealing with. Uh, so that will just mess up everything. What I want was I wanted to change this order of preference just for a particular prefix or a set of prefixes. So um, let me draw a scenario so that to make it less complicated. Let's say I have. Yes, 100, and I'm having sort of, let's draw a couple of more yeses. Now oh, that's too small. Yes, 200. Yes, 300. There is a network, let's say here, 160.0.0.0. And I learned this network in this direction through an IGP. And I learned this from this direction through EBGP. So EBGP would be at an inserted distance of 20. IBGP, whatever I'm using, would be from there to 120. Yeah. So in in the default setting, I will never, I will never uh, get to learn. So two options, right? Option one. Option two. So in normal setting, option one would never be executed. Why? Because it has higher distance. But what if I want to say yes to this and I want to say no to this? So one of the ways is that I do change the administrative distance. If I do that, that would permanently change the administrative distance for all my BGP business, which I don't want. So I want it to, in my example, do it only for this prefix. This prefix is somewhere here inside this AS. So I want to do this only for this prefix uh, or more than one prefixes. So I will not use the administrator distance. In, in, in place of instant distance, what I would do is I would use BGP backdoor. What BGB backdoor would do only for this prefix? I will only for this prefix, I will prefer I GP over. BGP or EBGP. So I would prefer, that was my resolution. I wanted to have option one to be considered over option two. So what I will do is if I use BGP backdoor, I would do that. Uh, let's, let me give you an example. So in this case, uh, what I would do, I would say, for example, network, oops. Which network? This particular network, 160.0.0.0, backdoor. Keyword. This is my R. So I wrote BGP back, uh, network uh, 16060, this backdoor, and I've done this. But now what I have learned. I have learned, uh, as a result of this, I have learned an external root. I've learned an external root through 
IGP. I might have learned the same route, same route mean 160.0.0.0 in my example, from EBGP. Same thing, two ways of learning, right? The question comes, Is there any difference it will make? I mean, there are two ways to learn a route. One is the same route, 160, um, 160 uh, dot zero dot zero, for example, uh, which I can learn through IGP from 200 to, from 200 to AS100, or I can learn through AS300, the same route, uh, which will be coming from 200 to 300, 300 to me through EBGP. So same learning at the end. Uh, is there a difference? That's what uh, I'm going to um, exit with the last comment. So what it would show in both the cases. Right? So if I learn 160.0.0.0 through IGP, though I am an external route. Why? Because I belong to 200, not 100, okay, right? I'm external route. But in 100, it will be shown 160, will be shown as a local route. So if I learn the same route by EBGP, I will be shown as external route. But if I learn it through IGP, though it's an external route, but it will be shown as internal route. What's the difference? The difference is I will not advertise this route as my external route in my BGP. I will advertise it as my internal route. Right? So that is why BGP backdoor is needed, how it is configured, and what is the implication of having configuration of BGP backdoor? What purpose does it serve? Yes, you have something to keep? Yes, can you please go to above example which you draw? Yeah, in this case, like you said, EBGP is always preferred over IGP. So I want to know what's the role of origin in that. Like, usually origin, if it's internal, we prefer the internal route, and if we origin is external, it's not preferred. Okay, in this I'm I'm in this I'm not putting everything in context. So I'm just uh, giving a limited uh, scenario where I'm saying um, put everything to constant. And uh, let's say we are understanding this, uh, but if we bring in uh, other things in to the picture, so it means uh, I will not be considering origin, I will not be considering. So I have the power in BGP as uh, the policy maker. I can consider what are the parameter I want. Uh, but origin is like mandatory and well known, so you have to process origin if it's there. Yes. So, so what, what is being discussed here is that if I'm origin, then what I will be using? Origin is a part of IGP or EBGP or BGP. Origin is a part of uh, IGP or BGP. 
BGP. BGP. So I'm not using BGP. So I have nothing to do with the origin. So I'm using IGP. It's on this. So I don't care whatever I'm using, right? So if I would, I would, I would change the administrative distance. I'm not preferring the protocol at all. It doesn't matter what that protocol does, right? So I would override all. So in this case, origin would not come to my mind because what I'm competing, I'm competing an IGP, nothing to do with origin, with an EBGP. So what I am looking at, I'm not comparing Apple and Apple, I'm comparing two different things. So I want to prefer IGP. So the way to prefer is I can use an administrative distance, uh, which is easy, but it has consequences because permanently I will change the administrative distance of my EBGP, which is not good uh, because everybody knows it's standard as uh, whatever it is. So what I would do, this is a sort of, um, you know, you can put a little hole in there to serve your purpose. The origin does not come into picture here because we are talking about IGP, which has nothing to do with origin. As compared to EBGP, whatever it is using doesn't matter if I'm preferring IGP or EBGP with this technique. Thank you. You're welcome.